Lieutenant Clayton said we should begin the calibration of the transporter system by confirming the alignment of some of the Heisenberg compensators. That won't work. If we realign all the Heisenberg compensators, we won't finish the calibration during our shift. With all due respect to Lieutenant Clayton, we'll have to do it a different way, because his idea is all wrong. Is that right? Is that what Clayton meant? Mm-hmm. Realign all the compensators. That would take all day. Lieutenant Clayton is wrong, then. The whole cow shouldn't take but three hours. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The argument you are employing, Mr. Kyle, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the straw man fallacy. In other words, misrepresenting the opposing argument. The argument seems to make sense. That may be so, but the form of the argument is invalid. Arguments employing this fallacy attack position via a misrepresentation of the opponent's viewpoint. The straw man argument restates and often oversimplifies an opponent's position, and then attacks that hollow argument. Lieutenant Kyle, you stated that Lieutenant Clayton was wrong because he suggested realigning all the Heisberg compensators. In fact, Mr. Clayton's contention was that the alignment of some of the compensators should be checked. Some of them checked, not all of them realigned. The straw man argument is also a fallacy of relevance, since it fails to address the actual proposition in question. That makes sense. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I shall rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies, such as the straw man argument or misrepresenting the opposing argument. It's only logical.